Hi, my name is Joel. I want to take a few minutes to explain some backyard orcharding that we've gotten into. Uh, one common question that people always have is how long is it going to take after I plant my tree before I can start eating my fruit? We are five years in to planting our first tree. Uh, we planted three trees in 2013 and it's now 2018. So this is five years later and we happen to have a neighbor that planted an orchard a few months before ours. So we have our planting methods versus their planting methods. Um, as well as a planting method, we also did soil testing with International Ag Labs. Uh, quite a bit of amendments were added uh, once or twice a year. Um, so we're going to go to the first orchard. You can see what they've done. Our planting method is called the deep root planting method. It involves a very large hole. I can show you a picture of that. Uh, in addition to the very large hole, it's going to be amended with soft rock phosphate, um, high calcium lime, uh, some chicken manure, some other stuff as well. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can see a little bit more information on that if you're interested. But the difference in the trees are phenomenal. So we're going to go to the first orchard and you can actually see what the neighbor's done with kind of a minimalistic uh, planting and, and upkeep approach. And then we'll cut to our one peach tree uh, that was planted five years ago, several months later. And then in the background, you'll also see some other peach trees that are now two years old, planted in the same location as our five-year-old. Uh, that's all. Let's go to the first orchard. So here's our first orchard for comparison. This orchard was planted in the spring of 2013. All these trees are planted together. Uh, not a whole lot was done with it in terms of watering, as far as we can tell, um, fertilizing. Probably a more typical plant and let it go and see what happens with it. Uh, the first year, just a few inches of new growth. It does appear that the roots are taken off. Trees are doing a little bit better. Uh, there's quite a few inches of new growth this year. The uh, a resident that lives here says they had out of what looks like about a dozen peach trees, one peach so far. So it's got a little ways to go before it actually gets to a good bearing maturity. But this is your, uh, what I would call a more typical probably, a five-year-old orchard. Peaches in the front, apples in the back. Um, Apples actually go all the way to the back of the orchard. I haven't seen any trees die off, so everything is holding on and and doing fairly well, and, and it just keeps going. All right, and here's our next orchard. There are five peach trees, two apricots, and two plums. This peach tree on the corner was planted in the end of June or the 1st of July in 2013 so it was actually a few months after the other orchard that we just looked at uh, after we saw the growth on this tree we decided to go ahead and make this a whole orchard not just one tree standing by itself uh, these other peach trees were planted two years ago so this is a bare root tree actually on these other peach trees uh, two years later on a bare root tree averaging i would guess four or five feet of growth per year and this is what we're looking at at this point. Um, as you can see, the peaches are ready at this point. Uh, the growth is just ridiculous. I mean, that is a lot of growth for for one tree in five years. Uh, we did have, and I'll splice to a picture or two, we did have quite a bit of frost problems. Uh, the tree came back from a really heavy snow. Uh, relatively heavy as far as peach trees go. The grass was covered, uh, the blossoms were frozen, and the thing just kept going. Uh, so the blossoms thawed out and it created new blossoms. And I can't really tell if these are off of new blossoms or off of thawed old blossoms. Um, but it was, a, it was a pretty thin year for the start of the year, but it held on to the majority of the peaches, or at least it seemed to. So this is what we're left with at this point. This is five years after planting uh, five years and one month at this point. This tree was a end of year closeout Walmart special so I couldn't tell you what the variety was. Um, you know that information really didn't come with it. These other trees were all bare root and everything is done extremely well. Uh, 
These last several trees have had some issues. The very last one in the back that's the smallest, it was replanted last year. Uh, the main issue that we have here is Japanese beetles. So the Japanese beetles hit us really heavily, although the peach trees have uh, kind of pushed through and they're not so much affected by Japanese beetles, at least not at this point. Um, the plums are getting hit really heavy and these uh, apricot trees are also getting hit really heavy.